some Minecraft here in Bob's world and uh yeah we're gonna jump straight on in. We got a couple of things to work on today. Um yeah I finally got the creeper farm set up which is great. Took me a wee while to get that going but that is fine. I think it's night time again. <laughs> But yeah, we got a couple of things to do. First of all, the iron farm has been chugging away and we got a lot of iron right now. <coughs> I've condensed most of it into blocks of iron for, you know, storage reasons, but yeah. Lots of iron coming out of the iron farm. Who would have thought five villages and some cobblestone and spawn chunks would uh, turn out so much iron. So we need to do a bit of a project over there at the iron farm. <coughs> Still need a name for my mule down there. But uh, I need to work on getting six mending books too. <coughs> So I can finally have mending on all my gear. And then later on I'll go show you guys the creeper farm. Should we go check the cows? <coughs> I haven't fed the cows in a wee while. You guys need to be so noisy? Heard a wandering trader over there. I've got plenty of steak left in here. Must remember that. Alright, I'm gonna go check the crop farms. Oh yeah, I also got Elytra. Um, <clears throat> took out the dragon the other day. Um, not on live stream though, that will be in a YouTube video to come out soon. Just need to finish editing that. Alright, let's go trade with some villagers. I need some emeralds. So I'm going to buy some mending books from our mending villager. Out here by the old uh, villager breeder, which is turned off at the moment. You, sir. It really won't take any more. I need more storage here. Okay. A couple of double chests. I'm gonna put a couple in here. We've got a little bit more storage in here. <coughs> Carrot farm's purely made to get me stonks. Nope. I have 
I've not seen said YouTube video. So thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate that. That farm all emptied on out. More potatoes, though. Now you want to trade carrots again? No, well, we can do carrots, buddy. All right, plenty of these. Oh, nice. Hey, I, I haven't seen said uh, video, so... Um, I don't really have any comments to make about said thing. Oh, I need one more book. Alright. Gotta go to the melon farm anyway. I don't want to learn to pop right. I might have one upstairs already, or else I'll just craft one. I don't. I thought I did. Oh no, I use that for unbreaking to put on my. Yeah, I used that last book to put on breaking to get on breaking, so I can put it on my elytra. Yeah, right, to the melon, pumpkin and melon farm. You know, I don't have a farmer that trades pumpkin shit, but easy enough to make both farms at the same time. On the stairs we go. Plenty of melons. Got a stack. Nice. Don't worry about the pumpkins at the moment. All right, let's go try these melons. Shut up, villagers. God damn it. Try any more melons? Really, dude? Come on. Alright, he should restock later on today. However, I need all the mini books you can give me. I need another stack of emeralds. That's okay. 
I will be back soon, sir. Get my money in here. <clears throat> right, now I can put mending on some more of my things. But yeah, thank you for the follow, by the way. Yeah, we need to go sort out the iron farm. I think will be our first project after we kind of get this one done. Okay. So all my tools with mending on them now. Three more, oh, four more actually, because I want me. Oh no, for a good mending on my chest plate. I just need mending on everything else. I'll go mend my tools first. <clears throat> you got a skeleton spawner for that one, which is. Over here. And also use some more levels because why not? My axe. I also need to put a storage system in here because. Yeah, that's pretty hectic. Don't really need all the bows. Let this stuff despawn. Nice way to spend a Sunday morning. Just playing some Minecraft. Well, Sunday afternoon now, technically. Although, that being said, I sp did spend most of the morning finishing the creeper farm. I kind of wanted to get that done. Use the old auto clicker for this. is almost mended. Thoughts should be repaired shortly.
uh, still got some more spawning. Well, some more lighting up to do around here to make this skeleton spawner a little bit more efficient, but that's the job. Excuse me. Might actually build an Enderman farm at some point in the next week. Now that I've defeated the Ender Dragon, I can go ahead and do that. Way better for XP. Also need to get up on the nether roof so I can set up a... I want to get a bee farm set up there. And a couple other things like a gold and bartering farm. Okay, my axe is repaired. So I'm get everything repaired at the moment. So I repaired my elytra, which is nice. God dang it, Minecraft, why do you have to be scary sometimes with these airy noises? God dang it, man. But yeah, I, I think our first project for today, once I, once I sort out these mending books, is probably to set up item filters on the iron farm, actually. That way we can get a bit of bone meal passively, too. <clears throat> I can get rid of all the damn poppies and have way more storage for our iron farm, on our iron farm actually which would be really nice that way i don't have to empty it out all the time but once i can get my hands on an auto crafter 
in the next update. Whoo! We're just going to turn all that iron into iron blocks automatically. It's going to be great. Also want to get a raid farm set up shortly too. That way I don't need to worry about emeralds too much. And totems, obviously. Totems of Undying will be dope. Come on. Surprise, no skeletons have dropped that have a uh, sweeping edge on. Oh, have thorns on them yet. So many bones, man. Really start turning some of them into bone blocks. Don't need all these bows and all this armor anymore. It's not required for anything. I think that'll do for now. everything repaired enough head back up to the top have a quick nap Alright, a new day, which means that farmer should have reset all his trades. So I can get those last three mending books. <coughs> and I can make sure all my gear is nice and upgraded with mending on it. That being said though, my armor is not the best, but we will work on that in due course. And so get all the villages kind of situated. Oh, do you want what? What a ripoff, dude. Dude, you suck. One mending book out of that one. I already have a lot of rotten flesh. Dang it, dude. Why are you doing me dirty like this, man? Me 32 more emeralds. Now he resets back. 
Dude. Potatoes. There's 20 more emeralds, dang it. Let's see if we got any more carrots. And potatoes coming through. There shouldn't be that many. Enough to get a couple more emeralds. I suppose I could go kill a bunch of zombies, but, uh, don't kind of want to do that. Okay, I can get one more mending book. Sixteen more emeralds, dude. I also like to switch to golden carrots for food too. Definitely gonna have to make a bigger melon and pumpkin farm, I think. But with the raid farm it'll be less of an issue. I'm not going to get a lot of pumpkins and not a lot of melons out of this. Yeah, another emerald. Oh, I only need one more. I forgot I had emeralds in here. Glass bottles. One emerald. Done. Done. Let me go get some glass. And we need to go over there and work on the iron farm. I really need to get this done first. Man. I have no sand. Loot. Get my last mending book. Perfect. Give me that last emerald I need. Uh, we're gonna 
won't get to it in this live stream but at some point next week i'll definitely be working on a raid farm i'll try and live stream that actually um there's a pretty nice simple design i'm going to use i think thank you thank you uh, what are you going to give me now loyalty three that's not bad box what box for I can get fortune on my axe. That might be a good combo. Actually, I could go back to the stronghold and, um, you know, get all the books out of the book room. Actually, that's probably not a bad idea because the end portal's all the way up there, 8,000 blocks. <clears throat> All right, cool. We are all geared up. We've all got mending on everything except for the hoe. The hoe doesn't get used very often. And if it breaks, it's a diamond hoe. Might grab another axe, though. No, I don't have a lot of levels. Actually, I'll do that later. I'll do that off stream. Um, what are we going to need? I'm gonna need some repeaters. Two repeaters. Yeah, two repeaters. Do I want to build this area out of? Hmm. Let's go bubble deep sand, not deep sand bricks. Let me grab a shock box. Box. I can make some more stairs anyway, that's fine. Get that bubble deep slate that we've got lying around. Uh, now I want some blocks to put some redstone on. We don't have a lot of wool, so we will. Got lots of iron blocks though. Iron blocks from redstone. All right, we're going to need to put together some chests. That's okay, we can do that. Yeah, it's almost, it's almost night time again. Back upstairs. Oh, I still missed the ladder. Yeah, oh, at least we can always get a good look at the sunrise. Ah, oh, look at it. Beautiful. It's a beauty, mate. And let's put down our little workstation here. It's blocks together. <clears throat> now I need a way to get out of, up to this. Oh, it needs to be slabs. Okay. 
Oh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. So I do what I... oh, there we go. Your bottom half slabs. Just to stop any golems being able to spawn on these. Uh, please, no, no advertisements in the chat. I don't really appreciate that, but, you know. Do, however, appreciate the hustle. Okay. These need to be bottom half slabs. Nothing can spawn on them. Oh man, we've already got a right ton of iron in here already. We'll go throw this in another shulker box. Some of these poppies. Totally interested in the poppies. <clears throat> Just very quickly fill up my inventory because I'm going to break this. I do want the chest though. It's a little bit silly of me. Grab this chest and wait for those items to despawn. Two more chests around here somewhere. Oh, there's one. Grab my hoppers. Okay. <clears throat> I don't have to let those things in, I think. That's just... Dang it, I'll just pick them up. So I'm gonna get in my way. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. I don't really have a plan per se. Um, <clears throat> so we might expand out this way. My walkway, make it a little bit nicer. All right, so about there should do for now. Yeah, I think that looks good. Yeah, uh, working with an ugly ass looking farm though. <coughs> But it's just a starter farm, you know, they're not meant to look that great. But yeah, I need to go through and... I 
Well used bamboo. Should be able to make a bunch of chests out of this. Alright, bamboo. I'm gonna want like what five more hoppers. Oh dang it! It's done again. Silly me. I'm in too much of a hurry. <clears throat> but now we got some more hoppers. I want to bring it around here. Use some scaffolding. Yes, I do. Scaffolding on that. Oh well. Actually, maybe I need Yeah, let's do three filters and one composter essentially So I need another comparator and another repeater we should be good. Because everything else will just go into a composter. There's some stone in here. Need some redstone torches. Should do one more thing. Comparator. Repeater. Should do. Don't need the quartz on me. <clears throat> Eventually we'll get around to doing <clears throat> setting up a redstone shocker box and all that kind of stuff, but really don't have the resources for that right now. I'm gonna make a compost on it. Now we were here. Three and four. Let's go out here. So iron. Iron, 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 bone meal. <clears throat> That's kind of what we're going for. See, this is not going to create a lot of bone meal. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to have the bone meal station set up 
not here. And then we might have an overflow chest here, just in case this gets full of iron. Completely full. Now I need that. Six. Thanks. I need 18 more chests, something like that. Oh, 14. Just cut down some of these trees. That's what they're there for. I not grow back the big spruce trees yet. Probably go do that now. I need them again at some point anyway. the best chest layout but oh, dang it I'm gonna have to do double chests oh, I'm gonna have to do two rows of chests I think so I'm not gonna be able to fit in the auto sorter properly Just fine. Definitely need more hoppers. Temporary blocks. And this is going out sort of. So we'll run our hopper line across the top here. This is kind of where our sort is going to sit. I'll be in the water all the goddamn time, and I don't want to be doing that. <clears throat> oh, one. So I want to bring this on out. I think that's far enough. I don't think we need these blocks out here. So I'll just finish up this little pathway. Then I want to 
want to extend this out this way a few blocks Now these are all bottom half slabs, so nothing should spawn on them. Probably doesn't need to be this big, but we can reassess once I get the redstone in. Trying to build this off memory, which is never a good thing. Compare to compare to compare to. Is failing me. How's it going, mate? That's right. No man. Right. Oh, I'm just setting up some item sorters for the iron farm. Um Some stock standard boron redstone. Not really. It's a, it's a very simple redstone contraption, is this one. Stone. Ah, uh, just take some practice, man. I'm pretty sure that's how that redstone circuit works. Um, I'll find out. I'll find out soon enough whether that's correct. Yeah, let's do eight hoppers. I'm not too worried if it's wrong. Uh, I'll just rip it out and rebuild it. It would be annoying, but uh, it's not the end of the world. Alright, run another hopper into that. We'll have some overflow chests just in case. 
Yeah, now I have to redirect all the iron from the iron farm. Actually, I should set up the filters first. That's what I should do. Before I get too far ahead of myself. After I pour a drink, that is. All right. We gotta rename some items. <clears throat> Should have some sticks around here somewhere. Just... Fifteen sticks. Rename them. Good for item. Try and hide that redstone too, I think. Yeah. Made too many. It's okay. Where's all that iron gone? Six stacks of iron. down to I think it's 48 items <coughs> 42 uh, 41 is where it should stop cool. so our hoppers locked so they're not flowing down anymore awesome the chest there for now right. and that will be our overflow Man, I absolutely nailed it. Gonna need another hopper though. No, no, I'm not. I'll manage that one first try. Okay, so we should start seeing iron flying through here. Cool, the item filter is working. And I just need a couple composters, I think. How many composters am I going to need just to kill some lag? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six composters. Ah, dang it. One short. Yeah, I've still one birch plank short. Maybe I have one inside. But that's working quite nicely now. I'm getting some bone meal. I'm also getting my iron. All nicely sorted. I've got some planks on me, you never know when you need them. Cool 
Barn, we can go in there. Get rid of some of this lag. Oh, potential lag. Hard to get up here now. Cool. One more hopper, I think. We should be fine. I just want to have another chest underneath this. Sometimes I'm a bit of an idiot. Should do that first. Boop. Done. Let's turn these on slabs. Eh. I'm going to have to go another block out. Uh, actually, no. I will just bring all of this polished deep slate slabs around here. This won't mess with the iron farm as no mobs can spawn on these bottom sl bottom half slabs. That way, when I need iron, I'm not in the water anymore. Let's make sure there is no random spawnable spaces here. Nope. Well, that's the first project for today done. Nice. Got a little bit of bone meal from the poppies. All our iron being filtered out, the poppies being just turned into bone meal and overflow. <coughs> Not that this is a great way of getting lots of bone meal. You want a moss farm for that, to be quite honest. But you know what? As a starter farm, this is just really easy to build. And adding on this system is just a nice to have. You know, like the fact I can just come here and get iron. It's a little bit of bone meal from time to time. It's fantastic. You know, I'm not expecting great bone meal rates from out of here, but this is always running. It's in the spawn chunk. So even when I'm on the other side of the world, that iron farm is still running. Still loaded, still running. It's all good. Uh, I'm going to take the iron out of here. Turn this into iron blocks. Add it to the rest of the collection. And we get back inside. Back up our little workstation here. I don't want all these poppies. I'll dispose of the poppies. Yeah. In an environmentally friendly way. 
I could run them all through the um, filter system, but nope, not doing that. <clears throat> they can just despawn. Do my indigest. All right. Now that was a nice little quick little project win there. Pack the shockables. All right, let's get rid of the last of this. <clears throat> That's a lot of iron. I'm almost already out of storage space, which is weird. Boom. Good. Let's head on out over to the creeper farm. It is 600 blocks away in that direction. <clears throat> but this needed to be built in the deep ocean, hence why it's 600 blocks away. I suppose I could have built it really high in the sky, but I didn't really want to do that. And here's the creeper farm. I really need to add more platforms to it, but I didn't have enough resources to do so at the time. Let's just get up here and turn this on. <clears throat> okay. It's a pretty simple mob farm design, but... I am getting some spiders in here, though, but I'm not overly concerned about that. There's not that many of them. But we'll just go up to the AFK spot. We'll AFK, AFK for a couple of minutes and then we'll see what we get. But I haven't done a big AFK session here yet. I might do one later on tonight. Because this is probably going to be the same spot that I build the raid farm in. If I can find a pillager outpost nearby. All the way up here at Y200. Free camp. For the win. Clock's running. Don't have anything spawning at the moment. Oh, yeah, there's some creepers. not as efficient as what I want it to be, but <coughs> didn't exactly follow the instructions to a T because in the tutorial they were like button the top, like put buttons on like every spot on the roof here. I kind of see why they did that now, but I just lit it up so mobs can't spawn up here anyway, but if there's buttons on every single one of these blocks, then the game doesn't even check to see if it can spawn anything here. So I think I do need to button this whole entire top. And that will increase the rates inside of the farm. Yeah, like I get the occasional spider, which is fine, because I can use the string.
But yeah, that's kind of what we got going on over here. Um, yeah. Real simple. Water washes them away. These slabs and these trapdoors, I presume, are supposed to prevent spiders from spawning. But they still do. And I definitely got them all in the right place. But as I said before, I'm not overly concerned about spiders being in the farm. Uh, once they get washed off the platforms, they're not climbing back up. They just take fall damage and die. At the moment, I don't have a lot of gunpowder, so I'm trying to conserve rockets. Um, but this is why I built the farm, so... Maybe we do button the roof? Maybe that's something we can do today, too. Yeah, it's just fish. Yeah, a little bit of gunpowder. Spider got out. Yeah, sometimes we might get a skeleton in here, but I'm not overly concerned about that stuff. We do get a little bit more gunpowder, but... Maybe we button that roof. Where am I going? I not, don't need to go to Flower Forest. I just need to go home. So nice having my wings. Still need a name for the mule, though. I was thinking, um, Eeyore, maybe. You know, like the donkey from uh, Winnie the Pooh, I believe. I don't even think I have a name tag at the moment. No, I don't. Where is my chest piece? There it is. I have a lot of diamonds to my name at the moment, but I can always go and mine some more. Let me see what I can get at the moment in the enchantment table. Might have to go swing at some skeletons for a bit. I might do that later. How much stone do I have lying around? How many stone buttons can I make? Grab a shulker box. gonna require a fair few stacks of buttons, I think. Alright, let's go and get some stone. <coughs> Excuse me. Head back down to the mines. That'll help generate some more melons too, being closer to that area. <coughs> And through here. Yeah, I've needed a lot of stone recently. Um, yeah, I've kind of been just digging a massive hole down here. So I get all the resources I need. It'll be great once I have a beacon. Because we can insta mine stone. I really wish we could do that with Deep Slate, but that's a no-go. Yeah, 
Alright. I reckon four more stacks of button should be enough. If not too much. But I don't want to have to come back just to mine more stone to make more buttons. <clears throat> Finding more caves so I can light them on up. Make it a little less hectic down here. <clears throat> Take the coal for now. Try not to mine any iron these days, but copper? Copper's fair game. I don't think you can find lapis this high out. Oh, well, we're at Y level 40, so I suppose, yeah. Makes sense. Really quickly. Nope. There's two more bits of stone. Wicked. Throw all this stuff in my shocker box. Head back to the creeper farm. Hopefully that's enough buttons. But if not, we can come back and we can get some more. Plus buttons are even easier to place than slabs. <clears throat> I'm hoping this will make the creeper farm a little bit more efficient. other stuff away. All right, back to the creeper farm. <laughs> now that was a bit of a shit takeoff, but that's all right.
Okay, now if I was trying to do this with slabs, it'd be really annoying. too worried if they're not all facing the same direction now that might trigger some other people but I don't really care because this is boring and I think we're definitely gonna need some more buttons should definitely help increase the efficiency of the farm because when you just light up blocks I believe Minecraft still checks to see what the light level is it still considers that block spawnable but as soon as you put a button or like a bottom half slab if I was to put a slab down on top of this block nothing can spawn there same thing with a button But buttons are just the easier ones to place. You don't you can't accidentally make a full block out of them. Definitely gonna need some more buttons. Well we got we got half of it done. But we're for sure gonna need way more buttons than what we're gonna need. Right, we're gonna have to dig up some more stone. We might find a place a little bit closer. our last button mm. might just place a quick cheeky torch there just don't want anything spawning up here when I get close alright more buttons let's fly back over this way oh yeah there's like a drowned little hideout over there let's see if we can find a cave very quickly I reckon four stacks should do. Maybe five just to be on the safe side. There ought to be a cave around here somewhere. Oh, there we go. Yeah, big cave. I haven't been down here yet. Off a little bit. That's a lot of zombies. I think they can get to me. Skeletons can, though. Grab my bow. Kinda hard to see through the sunshine. Yeah, I got him. Should be all good just to dig out some stone from here, I think.
probably get what I need and get the heck on out of here. But I'll take it anyway. Too much more. Buttons very quickly. Get back over to the creeper farm. Get them placed out. Steal a few of these other blocks. I don't really need them. <clears throat> Placing these buttons. Thought this was going to take me way longer than this, but uh. Hopefully we will see increased spawn rates in this farm. Now that mobs can't spawn in scaffolding. It kind of sucked when they changed that because it was super easy to create these farms using scaffolding. It's a good thing I got some extras. enough all right let's go grab some more stone very quickly <coughs> just a stack don't need much more to finish this off Picture perfect flying as usual. I 
Come back here so I can finish my creeper farm. Thank you. I'm gonna farm your people. I'm gonna farm your kind, I suppose. <clears throat> it's probably more accurate. I suppose it's whatever Minecraft law you believe it to be. Thank you. That's more than enough buttons. Coming for landing. Nice. Okay. Now nothing can spawn up. Oh, I missed just a few buttons. How did I manage that? All right. Very quickly. Use the light level thing in mini hard to identify any left any buttons I may have missed. Because I've got them all. Oh, oh, there's another one. Okay. Now nothing can spawn up here. So if I turn this on, head on up to the AFK spot. <laughs> We should see better rates inside of the farm. <clears throat> Which is what we want. Like, the more efficient the farm, the better. Um, yeah, because there's nowhere else for anything to spawn in this area. Particularly not when I'm up at like Y200. But we'll use free cam here and we will go and see what we can see. Should be getting better spawn rates. Be a bit hard to tell initially. Why am I getting. Oh, I thought that was a zombie. No, it was just a trapdoor. Made the creeper look like a zombie. Yeah, we are getting better spawns, I think. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to do a long AFK session around here later. On tonight, I think. We are definitely getting a few more spawns in here than what we were having before. Which is great. So I'm just going to fly back down, turn off the farm. Alright, let's head back home. Can't get all the way home on one rocket? <clears throat> Maybe. Yep. 
Damn near close enough to it. The only reason I built that creeper farm was to keep me in rockets. Redstone box. What's up, dude? Let's go see how the iron farm's going. A little bit more bone meal, which is nice. Nice. Nothing coming in the overflow. Awesome. Now I can get to it a lot easier because before I was like swimming in the lake to get to the iron and uh, that was a disaster. <clears throat> What are the things? Actually, I need to go replant a bunch of trees. I was like, wait, what? I should have way more spruce saplings around than that. The biggest problem with this iron farm design, though, is that at night, the farm doesn't run because the villagers are sleeping and there's nothing to scare them away. But, you know, if you're not too worried about that, that iron farm cranks. And that's really all you need it to do. Yeah? Just keep spinning out iron all the time. Yeah. You just don't need to worry about it anymore. Definitely be trying to build another, well, try and build a um, copper farm at some point. I know there's a few designs for that circulating the interwebs, but I kind of know how it works and I kind of just maybe try and build my own, but I kind of want a lot of copper for a lot of builds. I don't really have a lot of copper in this build because I don't have a lot of copper. Bam. Let those trees grow. Now, this was kind of two main things I wanted to talk about today and kind of get done. Got all my armor and tools with mending on it now, so that's awesome. I don't think it's worth starting on building an Enderman farm right now. I need a butt ton of leaves for that. Maybe that's something we could look at doing. Maybe. The All Seal 3 is not bad, man. Um. So yeah, villager trading hall, you know, things of that nature, will all be coming in due course. Because I still got to decide where I'm going to build the big boy base. Because this is just our little starting home, you know? Oh man, 
I have plans for a massive multi-item storage system in the big base. This is all very manual, which is fine for now. But once I've got a bunch of farms producing a bunch of stuff, yeah, we're going to need a decent storage system. All right, I'm going to go get some more levels, I think. Go hit the skeleton spawner for a bit. If I can get a Fortune 3 axe, we'll be a ways. <coughs> if I can go back to the end portal. I actually need to finish exploring the stronghold. Because I just quickly found the portal room and just went straight to the end. Oh, skeletons. Not the most efficient XP farm, but hey, does the job pretty well. Super easy to make. I'm also getting a bit of glow ink from it, so that's always a bonus. Actually, I might just do this later. It's not that fun to watch, to be honest. It's also not that fun to do. Just grind for some more XP. Alright. Let's go to the stronghold. I need to light it up. I haven't looted it yet, either. Uh, what do you want? God. Like, stop coming here. Not welcome. Bring me good things. Not whatever crap you just had. Dang wandering traders. We'll take the leads and the leather though. Alright. I'm not flying 8,000 blocks to the end portal. We'll just teleport there. Boom, end portal, all nice and lit up. Uh, I need to finish exploring the stronghold and lighting this place up. That's where I came in. Just in case. Okay, this just takes me back over to this side of the library. Eventually raid for all its box. Nothing down there. Let's go this way. There's my sword. Just a cave. Am I 
there's two libraries. I didn't realize that. It's not the biggest stronghold I've ever seen. Some bats. I was like, what the heck is that? Some bats having a snooze. Sorry, guys. Don't really want to wake you up. Staircase that goes up the other side. Oh, it's a dead end. Bit of a weird generation, but oh, whatever. Let's go through here. Just want to get this place lit up. So it's nice and safe to just traverse. No creeper up here, no creeper. Couple apples. Oh, geode. Okay. Kind of. Ish. Just gonna go through this here first. All right. Bunch of oak doors. Iron. The loot around here is not really that good. What does this bring me up to? Another one of these. I think that's. All of the strong. I think we've lit everything up, which is good. It's nice and safe in here now. Out this way, yeah. mm, that's where I left those mangrove property girls. Don't go down this side yet. Some more torches. Door back there? Like what? Not so I've ever seen that one before. It's like a dead end down here. Let's go this way.
Don't know what I'm going to use these like doors for. More loot. Oh, my armor trunk. I will take that. Take the pill too. Not super interested in the whole armor trim system. It's kind of cool. The skeleton in it. Should use my shield, but uh, no. Nah. Pretty good protection on all my armor at the moment. Let's just, just go down to the same spot. Into six, a heck of a lot of caves. Who's down there? Doing that? Yeah, that leads down into a cave. Let's continue this way. Now dead. I don't think that zombie can get to me, so I won't worry about it. Dead end again. Oh, it's definitely bigger than what I thought it was. To where we were before. That might be all of the stronghold lit up now. That's awesome. There are some chests and things in here. Take this, take all of this for the string. Not really in the need for cobwebs at the moment. things Take those off too because I don't need those either so I might grab a couple cobwebs Use them in a bartering farm. Okay.
Oops, let's go follow me. Because I broke the ladder down the other side. What have we got in here? In the first place. So just go follow me. Put the light down. Yeah, that's the uh, stronghold there. There's some more arrows over here. Yeah, alright, I'm going to head back home. And I think that's where we're probably going to leave it for today, guys. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.